What's up, you guys? So in today's episode of Let's Talk Africa and One Love, One Africa, a playlist here that I have on this YouTube space, on this channel, that just go in depth about moving to Africa and all the things that you need to know if you're trying to repatriate. But in today's video, we are talking about traveling to Africa in December. You know, if you haven't left the West, you know, if you haven't felt your feet in the African sand, in the African soil, you are missing out. But I wanted to come to you guys with some bullet points, the things that I love about, you know, being in Africa in December and some things that are just, okay, this is too much now. Uh -uh, it's too much. But yeah, we're going to start off with some good stuff about being in Africa in December. And first point is you really get to see the festival, uh, the festive season. There's lights. There's just so much laughter and joy in the spirit. You know, people in Africa are always content or always happy. But during this Christmas season, during Kwanzaa, all of this stuff, during the celebration, it's just people are so happy. They celebrate. We celebrate in a different way, okay? The clubs are open until freaking 6 a.m. in the morning. It's just we are very much party people. We love celebrating. And during December, we are maniacs. You know, everybody's cooking rice. Everybody's making jello. If everybody's making chapati, everybody's making pilau. Everybody's making, you know, sambusa. Everybody's making some type of dish. And December is a crazy, crazy time to be in Africa. But such a joy and just so much, you know, so much joy and happiness in the air. Even though some people don't really have that much, you know, to be celebrating, you know. But we still find something to genuinely celebrate as a country, as a continent. Do you get what I'm saying? So the next point is you you get to see traffic. <laughs> you really get to see traffic, you know. This could be a, a bad, you know, thing. But I think it's a good thing because you get to see the traffic of that country, you know. Because everybody is going to the markets. Everybody is going to buy stuff. Everybody is on the road. Whether it's going to the market, going to work, uh, going to an activity, running errands, whatever. Everybody's on the road. And I feel like that just gives you, like, uh, a point of view, a different point of view. And you get to see how you can, like, dodge the traffic. But in Lagos, you can't really do that. Um, But you really get to see how you can uh, dodge the traffic, find a different way to get home, to get to school. But I think, you know, because so many people are coming back home and just you know enjoying themselves in africa in december there's so much traffic it's literally like dang y'all <laughs> i can't even go visit my little friend across you know across the pond because there's so much traffic and it's just so annoying but you know you can get on the motorbike you can get on the little little tutus you can get on the little bajajes and boop 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 we find a way we genuinely find a way so moving on to the third, um, there are so many activities to do in December's, to do in December in Africa. Like there, there's so many concerts. Like it's just dang. There's so many concerts. Wizkid, Davido, Fali, Poops. Everybody is coming back home to just celebrate. Do you understand? Um, this December there's a. Uh, concerts in Ghana, Nigeria is always packed, like, there's so many things to do, so many places to go for concerts, genuinely, people are so festive, there's concerts, festivals, um, food festivals, everything, just, just everything is thrown at you in December, like, there's so many things to do, we love celebrating, we love to party, so in December, we are wicked maniacals, we are so crazy in December, like, it's really, it gets out of hand, <laughs> but we genuinely celebrate hard in December, and we go to all the concerts, it doesn't matter if I have to work, to if I have to add more hours on my schedule, that salary is literally going to pay for that concert, so yeah, 
you know, despite the traffic, there's so many things to do, so many activities, so many festivals. And December is just the time for us to enjoy ourselves. You know, that's December, it's dirty for a reason because it's just, there's so many activities, there's so many clubs, there's so many things to do. Just a joy and a time to party. You know, in December, my fourth point is also the time to get crazy. Okay, people get crazy. You know, you might be in the club and your phone gets stolen. Yeah, because we are crazy in December. If you don't, if you are visiting Africa for the first time in December, your phone will get stolen. Your bag might get stolen. <laughs> you need to be careful because people are crazy. You understand? You go to this concert, your phone gets stolen, your bag gets stolen, everything you own gets stolen because people are out here snatching stuff. And if you think, you can come to this party with your huge ass phone and think people are not going to snatch it out of your hand. You're bugging. You're stupid. You're crazy. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're in a whole different continent. People are moving crazy. People are moving booty. Okay. You need to understand that it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. It's not just, ooh, okay. Nothing's going to happen to me. Girl, if somebody wants to steal your whole outfit, they will. So you just need to be careful and go with a friend, you know? Go with a friend. Don't go alone thinking, I'm going to be fine. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not going to be fine. So I need you to prepare yourself. Pack good. Because, girl, if you think you're just going to be potty, 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 and nothing is going to happen to you, don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Fifth point is that you get to see that food is really expensive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Food is really, really expensive. Since everybody's coming back home, the concerts, the festivals, everything is in December. Yo, things, prices are going up. <laughs> and if you actually live here and you have switched your dollars into the currency, you will understand that, yo, once everything goes up, yo, it's it's way too expensive. It's honestly, I can't handle. I cannot handle the food prices. You understand? You know, it, it just teaches you again that you have to balance your money. You have to know, you know, what's, what's going on. But in December, food is really expensive. Just everything is food prices up, 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 up. You know, but you, you actually get to see, you know, some of the true colors and you get to manage your money a little bit better because, yo, everything is going to be expensive for no reason, for no reason. And if you are still in the United States or whatever, when I say it, it costs me like $2, you might be like, oh, that wasn't that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. But in this currency that I am holding, like, Fra Congo, if I'm telling you I'm paying two dollars for uh, small pieces of you know uh bananas, yo, it is a lot in this currency. Do you get what I'm saying? But once you hear two dollars, you're like, that's not that much. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am talking about if you're here, you will know that it's expensive, but w when you're over there, but you can just spend two dollars on anything, but I'm telling you it's different. The vibe is different, you know? So when I say the food is expensive, you need to understand that the food is expensive. But that was one of my last bullet points. But, you know, before we end this video, traveling in December in Africa, it's such a joy. It's such a joy and it's just an experience, you know? Because in the West, you, it's just a different vibe. Do you get what I'm saying? Here, we actually celebrate, we actually party, we go to concerts, we go to festivals, all of these things, lights, festivals, all these things, fashion weeks, whatever. There's so much to do in Africa in December, but you have to also realize that you might lose your phone at a couple concerts because people are snatching it, you know? It's it's a time to see... Um, the country that you want to move to in December. It's a time to feel the vibe that, you know, genuinely happens in December in that country. You know, Congo is mad in December. Everybody is coming back home. Everybody is doing this and that. 
And it's just like, dang, there's so much traffic. But it genuinely shows you as Africans that we miss home so much when we are living in the Europe's, the USA's, the wherever, the Canada's. We genuinely miss home. So I think it's it's such a beautiful time to be in Africa in December. You understand? Because December, New Year's, it's just a time to be here. Everybody is going to concerts. Everybody's celebrating. Everybody's cooking. It's just a joy of time, you know? And those were my bullet points. My bullet points, okay? But genuinely... Visit Africa in December. Tell me how it goes for you. If you're trying to repatriate, check out my local playlist here on this YouTube channel. Here on this YouTube channel. Let's talk Africa and one love one Africa and many more. Genuinely, I'm here to help. Check out my description box if you need any further help. If you're trying to repatriate. But that was this video. How do you feel? Tell me about it in the comment section. Peace.